In today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint this simple, easy, and lovely sunset sky with silhouette trees. So grab some coffee or tea and let's get started. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Teresa and in this channel I do watercolor tutorials and art vlog. So if this is something that you interest in, consider subscribing. As always, I am gonna walk you through very quickly about the supplies for today's project. For today's tutorial, you will need a piece of watercolor paper whatever brand that you refer. Here I am using Canson's XL. And you also need some brushes too. I am using the Princeton Route size 12, the big brushes, and also a small one size 4, also the round brush for some detail. For watercolor pens, as you may see, I am using two paint palettes. This one is the Pastel Dreams from Prima that I have bought a long time ago and this one is the Windsor and Newton Cutman that you always see in all my videos. Feel free to use whatever uh, brands that you prefer and don't forget to have a cup of water to rinse off the brushes in between a gloss or kitchen towel and also a masking tape to block out the paper. Right, first I am going to tape down the paper on the surface and it also helped me to have a clean and nice edges when I finish the painting. You can have the paper in whatever sizes you want. This one I cut it out from big sheets is probably about 5 by 7 inches. And now I am going to re-wet the pan and also start mixing some colors. We are going to paint the sky first. So for the sky, we're going to apply wet on wet technique. So I am going to wet the paper with a clean wash of water. And of course, you don't want it to be soaking wet, it's just a, a little bit damp and shiny. And now for the top part of the sky, I am going to mix this lavender colors in the Primer palette with the Cerulean Blue from Windsor & Newton Cotman and start applying the pigment onto the paper. Now this is a sunset sky and for sunset we have a lot of different um, set of colors. You can use whatever colors you prefer um, or you can just look up on the internet for sunset sky and see if you find anything that you like and start applying accordingly. You don't really have to follow my set of colors here. So just feel free play with any colors that you like and see how it turn out. And for the second part of the sky, I am using, as you can see, this is some sort of very creamy, um, pinkish, baby pink toned in the Brima palette for the second part. I also use uh, my gloss to remove some of the colors so that I have, I reserve the white for the sun. And I'm just gonna go around and apply pigment around the sun. Now for the sun, if you find it's hard to bend around like this, you can also use masking flute if it's available to you or you can use a um, small little round sticky note to cover it. Um, but for the shape of the sun, I don't think it is necessary to be a perfect circle. A little bit wonkiness is going to add um, character to the painting in the end. And now after the first layer, I am going to add a couple chunks of clouds into my sky. And remember, if you want to add clouds, uh, the paper is still damped. Apply it when the paper is still damp because um, it's gonna be blended very well with the first layer. And you just kind of dab the color into the paper and let them do the work by itself. You don't have to work too much. And if you apply the clouds onto the dry paper, 
you may have to plan it by yourself because it's gonna leave uh, very hard edges. To paint this cloud, I'm just gonna use the same colors um, of the first layer, but make it a little bit darker. You can either mix it with complementary complementary colors or any darker colors to make it darker to so that the clouds can appear to be more noticeable. Now for the sky, because I want to achieve some sort of textures, a dramatic sunset sky, that's why I decided to add clouds. But if you prefer to have some sort of a smooth gradient sky, feel free to do so. You just need to take more time to do the blending well so that it appears to be smooth and gradient. And now I'm just waiting for the first for the sky to be dry and it's the break time, take your coffee and relax. Alright, my sky is completely dry, so the next step I am going to use this lamp black from Windsor and Newton Cotman to add the silhouette trees light and electric pole. And I am going to use this flat brush for the tree lights. Um, this is just my preference because I want to experiment with different brush stroke from different brush shape. So here's I am testing on the grab paper. How am I going to pan the um, the big pie trees? I'm just kind of use the uh, flash side of the brush to draw the broken line, and then using the angle of the brush to pan the little dot to fill up the shape of the tree. If you have the flat brush, feel free to experience it as well. I think it's a fun way to play around with um, different brush strokes. But if you don't have it, you can use the round brush. It really doesn't matter. I am going to place a giant pie tree, silhouette pie tree on the left side, as you can see and start using the angle of the brush um, to apply different random brush strokes to fill up and um, make the shape of the pie tree emerge. For this painting, I just simply using black colors for the silhouette, but I know that some of the artists don't like to use black in the paintings. Um, but they will prefer to have a little bit of colors so if you are one of them you can use some of the alternative colors for black like indigo, pan grays or dark purple and yeah the choice is your this is your painting and you have right to use whatever colors that makes you happy I am just here to walk you through the process to give you some inspiration but as an artist you can decide whatever you want in your painting and now after finishing with the pie trees i'm just kind of go across the page to fill out the sh um i would say the silhouette shadow and just wrinkling my brush so that um I can have like the illusion of leaf and trees. You can also add a couple more um, trees but in a smaller size compared to the pie tree on the left to create balance. And again as you can see to paint this tree it's just a random a very easy shape to fill in. You don't have to make it too complicated. Don't overthink it. This painting tutorial is supposed to be very easy and simple to keep you relaxed and help you get a little bit of creative during the holiday. And now I am going to add an electric pole into the painting on the left side. Um, I'm sorry, on the right side. And this is a man-made object 
And if you add a man-made object into painting, it's automatically become the focal point. And I think it's gonna add a lot of interest for the painting as well. And now you can use a small round brush to draw the power lines. Just a couple of them don't need too much and no need the light to be perfect. Um, a little bit wonky and a broken light is fine too because it's gonna make the painting look more organic and natural because this is how it looks in to real life. And finally, if you know me, for most of my landscape, I love adding birds. It's the easy way to add movement. And this bird shape is quite easy and simple, just like you see. It's just like a V shape and then adds a little dot in the middle. It's like the body of the birds. That's it. Alright, we done. So here is the best part, removing the tape. I think this is the step that bring the painting together. And for some of you who have trouble uh, with pulling the tape because it might tear your paper, you kind of just pull away from the paper, just like what I'm doing here. So this is the tip for you to avoid tearing. Okay guys, here's the complete look of the painting. I really love how it turned out, especially the sunset sky. And this painting tutorial is supposed to help you have some time to relax. And painting is not too complicated, too difficult. It's very easy and you don't have to overthink. Just keep painting. And I hope that you have a happy holiday and uh, thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and like the video if it helped you and i will see you in my next video bye